So the main argument for grabbing this pro version of the Oppo Find X2 over the bog standard model is that super sexy upgraded camera tech slapped on the back end. What you get here is a slick triple lens setup packing some very smart tech indeed. That primary lens is a 48 megapixel shooter using Sony's fresh new IMX 689 sensor, its first appearance out in the wild. And it's backed by another 48 megapixel lens, this one an ultra wide angle snapper, plus a 13 megapixel periscope zoom lens, which serves up a 10 times hybrid zoom. Some very serious optics indeed, but does it mean that the Oppo Find X2 Pro's camera tech is the best so far in 2020 to rival the likes of that Samsung Galaxy Ultra what's it? Well, I've been testing it out for a good few days now, and here is my in-depth Oppo Find X2 camera review and for more than the latest greatest tech please do post subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So the Oppo camera app isn't one for the faint of heart. This thing is absolutely rammed with toggles and menus and features and whatnot. Although if all that really intimidates you, no fear. And you can basically just get away with ignoring the majority of this stuff and just point and shoot instead. In auto mode, the Find X2 Pro's AI feature can be toggled on or off at will. And when this is switched on, it'll boost the colors when the occasion calls for it, producing a more artificial but eye-pleasingly vibrant finish. And those AI smarts will also automatically swap to like the night mode or the macro mode when appropriate, but you can also override all that shenanigans with just a quick tap. If you know your way around a camera, you'll probably want to check out the proper pro mode on this thing as well. This has all the usual options with the choice of shooting in RAW format as well as JPEG. But thankfully, I did discover that the Oppo Find X2 Pro's auto chops are pleasingly dependable. No matter the conditions, you'll almost always get a sharp, good looking photo that looks smart when you blow it up onto a telly. Those HDR smarts are impressive indeed as well. The colour accuracy of your subject will remain strong even when you're shooting them against a bright backdrop. And likewise, photos taken indoors certainly impress as well, with none of that sort of softness or unnatural warmth that often creeps in and ruins the results. If you want to grab a picture of something absolutely flipping huge, no fear. That ultra wide angle shooter captures snaps that are just as detail packed as those shot with the primary lens, and it is great for a dramatic shot as well. Alternatively, if you want to dive in rather than pull back, the Find X2 Pro also sports a similar periscope lens to the Reno 10x zoom from last year. This serves up a 10x hybrid zoom again, although I found that the results were definitely best at that 5x zoom level. Here, everything is pin sharp and brightly captured. Once you hit that 10 times zoom level, you often get much darker results and that finer detail is definitely lost in action. If you want to really get crazy though, you can max out the Oppo Find X2 Pro with the 60 times digital zoom, but unsurprisingly your final photo will look a bit grinny and pants. Often you'll find that using an ultra wide angle lens or a telephoto lens results in warmer colors or some other unnatural effects creeping into your shots compared with the primary lens, but not here on the Oppo Find X2 Pro. The results are very similar indeed. And the Find X2 Pro's night mode does a good job of brightening up a scene when it gets proper dark. I found that switching this on helped to cut down noise and boost the general detail levels while also improving the color capture. And you can even use that night mode with the other two lenses here. The ultra wide angle snapper certainly struggles in low light normally, but this night feature gets it right back in the game. The impact of night mode isn't quite as pronounced through the telephoto lens, but it does produce more balanced results when you're shooting a strong contrast scene. And of all the other bonus features on the Find X2 Pro, I found that the one I used the most was the excellent portrait mode. You don't get any wacky studio effects to play with, but you can tweak the bokeh level and the edge detection appears to be completely infallible. And the Oppo Find X2 Pro certainly ain't no slouch when it comes to video capture either. You can grab footage at up to 4K resolution at either 30 or 60 frames per second, matching most rivals except for those spangly new 8K Galaxy S20s. And the results are certainly packed with fine detail, although the color temperature is also clearly boosted. You can switch between the primary and the telephoto lenses at any time during shooting, even at that max 4K 60 FPS level. But the ultra wide angle shooter only comes into play if you drop it down to 30 fps. Image stabilization is proper balls at Ultra HD resolution, but if you want to move and shoot, definitely try turning on the super steady feature. This does drop the res to full HD, but the footage is considerably smoother, and even more so if you toggle the pro version on as well. Even if you're buggering about running up and down steps or whatever, you'll get some really good video. If you're trying to shoot a tricky high contrast scene, you also have a live HDR mode here on the Find X2 Pro, although I didn't really notice much of an improvement at all, and in fact a lot of my footage ended up looking worse because the focus keeps popping every couple of seconds, definitely really jarring. So this one is a work in progress at best. And as well as picture quality for your video, Oppo is clearly concentrated on the audio pickup as well. So for one, you've got a wind noise filter, which really helps to cut down that annoying jar and blustery sound whenever you're shooting outdoors. It won't completely eliminate it by any means, but it definitely makes your commentary pickup and everything a lot clearer. And yeah, this is with the wind filter deactivated. This is 
with the noise filter on, so hopefully none of that horrible wind noise should be getting through right here. Oh god, it's so cold. And in those audio settings, you've also got a choice of a 3D audio mode, which cleanly picks up everything going on all around you, otherwise more concentrated mode, which just focuses on whatever the camera lenses are pointing at. And again, it does a good job. Last up, selfies. And the Oppo Find X2 Pro's 32 megapixel front facing snapper is perfectly fine for showing the world what an amazing bloody life you have. Once again, this copes well with strong contrast, so no worries on a bright sunshiny day, complete with dependable portrait smarts as well. Although the night shots I took tended to look quite soft. You can also and shoot a bit of full HD video here on the Oppo Find X2 Pro as well. Let's get some nice crisp selfie uh, video vlog action on the go. Zips cut pretty well again with those HDR situations similar to the main lenses around the back. And so there you have it. That is what I think of the Oppo Find X2 Pro's camera tech after several days of testing it out. Definitely for the video smart, it is very, very impressive stuff indeed, live HDR aside. And on full auto mode, the photo quality is pretty damn special, no matter what kind of conditions you're trying to shoot in, with some seriously good night smarts as well. So let me know what you think down below. The Oppo Find X2 Pro will be going on sale early April for around the £1,000 mark here in the UK. Go check out my full unboxing of it, the software tour, and all of that shenanigans to see and more on the rest of the smartphone and uh, have yourselves a lovely week people cheers love you